Hello there and welcome back to another episode. So, in the previous one we completed the terraforming station over here, or the dirt excavator. We actually don't have the terraforming station. I believe that is still... Yep, yeah, we have unlocked it, but we haven't built you just yet, so that's something we do want to do in this episode. And uh, in the previous one, yeah, we did plant quite a bit of cattails and this section is, you know, starting to take shape a little bit. Now, the drought that we had was about 28 days long, so that's why nothing's really growing here right now. And uh, there's only, what is it, 12, 13 days left. So in the in the 12 days, not 12, 15 days, I've kind of been looking around the map. What can we fix? What can we change? And yeah, everything's dried up over there as well. So we, yeah, there's quite a, quite a few fixes we need to do. So starting from here, there's a couple of things we do want to focus or shift our focus to so let's uh, have a look first of all there is quite a bit of water but nothing of this is coming through so that means we are i mean ideally dynamite this way down all the way to the lowest level where the where the gates are here and i think with this bit here as well if we can get one more level lower let's uh, grab a dynamite and there we go okay not sure if we have the access oh we do okay so that's good right the next thing we do want to widen this gap a little bit as well so essentially we'll have the water coming through i think it's about here where we shall place in some dams yeah and we do need a gate here as well that will regulate the flow now in this area because we did have quite a bit of um, quite a few big floods we do want to block this area in a little bit more and then to be able to let the water flow in here. Actually, we might even have to pause you for a second. And yeah, so let some water go in here. But we don't want to let it flood anymore because that's all sort of wasted water. Okay, and we have these dynamites as well so we can fix this area up a little bit. Now with the power... Hmm, yeah, this... Uh, it would be better if we could bring it through... I guess from somewhere here. If we jumped over, went through the river... And then came up from actually even here. Yeah, because we do have those wheels here. So we're most likely going to cross over. Okay, so let's do everything in order. First of all, since the terraforming does not take any power, we can place you first. Okay, you are going to be needed to modify the terrain just a little bit. I think with you as well, we can gather some dirt in here. Okay, now we also have quite a few spare bots as well so uh let's have a look over there let me just pause it for a second yep so i believe i already paused one of the assemblers but i have a feeling just during this episode we might want to pause you for a little while as well and uh yeah we, we don't need that many bots to be honest okay so over here because we did identify that we do need some more trees and we want to reroute the water a little bit so what i was thinking is why don't we set up something over here all we need now is please get this constructed i think we have enough construction beavers or the bots oh yes we do but we most certainly can build a few more so let's do one over here for now and um, when it comes to the range we don't have a direct route through here it seems oh yeah they have to go all the way around which is not ideal of course so what we may do is why don't we separate the district yeah so you're gonna have to accept some logs and what else do you need uh let's grab one of those factories if we can all right so gears metal blocks blanks yeah so we'll uh, export it from our industrial industrial area over here now let's have a look are you guys almost done not quite so we might have to leave them for a little while yep access will be an issue yeah we'll disconnect it and then we get the trains moving again as well okay now next thing so in this production zone well locks we are gonna do everything else is fine isn't it almost forgot about it we do want to demolish all those barriers so in the future there is a bit of a dip in here and hopefully uh maybe we cannot oh wait a second so if that goes here does that mean we're gonna flood oh no it's just will fill up this whole area Oh yeah, we should be fine. Actually, that might already run all the way through here. Well, I guess we'll see. Yep, anyways, so we'll open this up a little bit. We already have the dams in place here as well, so we can probably do the same right about here. And I think when it comes to this floodgate over here, we can probably close it. But uh, 
right now what we'll do is let's skip the night and we'll be back in the morning all right so there we go the construction for the terraforming station seems to be going pretty well we've got all the metal blocks already in place and we're just waiting for 40 treated planks as well so why don't we speed this up a little bit right so when it comes to power we can use the large water wheels to pass it through um, from the from the river over here just like how we planned it before but there are a couple of things we do want to do in here so first we are gonna have to climb up just a little bit maybe even from here if we change this around but I think for now that should be okay all right let's place a road here as well and right so <laughs> you are gonna have to be changed isn't it because the water might fill up pretty quickly over here well anyways let's uh do this side first before we place any platforms in here oh never mind we might even do okay so that goes through here we could perhaps build you okay that should be enough space to walk over for the beavers maybe we'll, we'll see okay and we probably don't have to build you let's just take these ones out for a second we're not quite sure where we do wanna wanna have those floodgates right so we do have the access that means you are gonna go here now if the water comes to hmm about this height over here we might actually want to turn both of them around let's pause you for a second let's think about it okay so here it might be a little bit easier to expand the land yep oh no this is gonna be our pass-through area unless we of course make it a little further out because we might not need this area for this district over here that's an option as well what this means then we could flip you around and then right in this spot here we can go up and over without destroying our power network i think i like this idea a little bit more and then later if we do need to raise the sides it's much easier as well okay so let's do that so look if we need to turn you around the okay connector is going to be here power is going to be here and that means we are going to need just a few terrain blocks I guess about this height will be will be fine right okay there we go you do have access so that means we can already demolish this site a little bit okay beavers are working here as well but it seems we don't have enough pots well that's not a not a problem let's bring a few more extra ones over here now what's the minimum we do need right now we have about 14 of you working we could do about 20 i suppose okay let's read you as well 20 there we go okay so you guys will carry on constructing this area i don't suppose that's going to take too long okay but they are going to need a little bit of access i guess from from this side will be fine so you can be detonated now we can turn this around All right large one there we go and over here i guess it doesn't matter we don't really have to put hmm now let's do the terrain blocks yep that will be will be fine so they go over here and power wise where is the one we are looking for that's the universal so yeah you're gonna go up and over and this one and then we shall bring it down okay well there we there we go and same with you as well you are gonna have to go all the way here okay quite a few levels and off we go all right lovely so that should be pretty easy to do now i know it's night time but i hope you can still uh still see it so um, i do have a a few bridges planned in here as well so we definitely want to cross over but constructing this area will be a little bit more difficult which means well we are just gonna have to build a few more ladders i suppose uh, i'm sure there's a better way to do this as well but i just don't really see it right now and since we do have the resources oh okay so you're gonna be in the way well that's all right let's just uh, move over by one and one two three okay here we go so that's sorted and you are gonna need access as well so yeah i guess just another stair 
set of stairs right like so there we go and roads perfect and with this whole zone as well i think we don't really struggle with metal to be fair so let's just clean it up as much as we can i hope we don't have to climb down to destroy them if we do then yeah it's gonna take a little bit longer but you know what it's it's okay so how are we oh you've already constructed this one as well right i see so we might have to actually climb down um <laughs> yeah most likely okay so let's do this here as well i think in the future if we well we most likely will do it but if we are going to lower it we should probably place bridges over here so it's not gonna you know cut this whole section in half and then having to mess around with platforms and stuff it will be much easier if we uh if we just do bridges instead but okay so for the time being uh i would like to change this around just a tiny bit as well i mean technically we don't really have to but i'd like to place one of you over here all right our there we go let's grab another large wheel that one goes there now passing through will be pretty easy again so just this one on top this one goes here and as soon as everything is ready i think yeah we should be able to just um, disconnect it for a second and yeah send it straight through again right so that's the plans for this area what we can do now is wait just a little bit until they finish constructing everything and uh, whilst that is going on let's have a look at some of the other areas as well cool so over here I don't think we really want to be taking all that water out, so I'll probably start deleting some of them. I think two from here as well would be would be fine. Okay, there we go. Yep, that seems to be more than enough. Yeah, another 10 days left and it's still full, so everything should be fine right now. 35 pots still left, so we're not going to resume the assembler just yet let's have a look over here as well uh right 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 so let me just pause it for a second so you can't construct the upper levels because we need a platform over here okay and once that is done yeah i guess this will be fine we'll just figure out how we want to reroute and direct the water as well i think it will be most likely around this area okay so water can go through here and this will become a bit of a waterfall yep that will probably have to be a little bit bigger so why don't we okay so quick uh, cleanup duty here as well let's schedule this in and now i'm pretty sure that access will be problem oh yeah that's already the last leg it seems well okay so what do we need in here first of all we are receiving explosives which we don't need too much to be honest metal blocks for sure uh blanks i believe and let's see treated planks no gears 100 percent all right probably some logs as well for the engines yep definitely need tons of that and what else do we need i think that might be it isn't it okay i guess we'll see well why don't we just make sure yeah gears and planks in that one okay gears metal planks that's all coming in and metal planks uh yeah i think that's everything so what we'll do is we'll separate the districts real quick okay here we go one over there oh wow that's a lot of notifications okay so we shall grab you and this corner should be fine let's place you over here and change it around as well just like so okay where did you guys go everyone is in this one okay lovely so we still need 38 okay 38 of you actually never mind the engines don't need what's in them isn't it uh wait a second yeah let's let's uh double check 38 all right unemployed uh wait a second i think we're fine yeah okay everything is good and now we have 29 spare where do you guys go 54 here and unemployed 27 okay so all the spare bots are here right now okay so jumping over in this zone here we have a lot of trees and i don't think we need that many 
Uh, one thing we do have to improve though is storage for grilled chestnuts. That is definitely not enough for now. But I think that's going to go into our restaurant facility anyways. No, yeah, we do need one here. I know we planned something here, like another storage, I believe. But uh, let's just try it real quick. If we place the biggest one in here. Oh yeah, that is a... That's a very tall one. Okay, we don't really want to leave a cap either. This could work as well. We'll place one over here, another one here. And we'll have a bit of a road right in the middle. Okay, and you will be storing... Not chestnuts, I believe. We do want the grilled ones. Okay, right, lovely. Now that means we do need to take out just a few trees. Yep, if we place you there, support over there, and we're good. So, anyways, yeah. I still believe we have too many trees over there. And I would like to expand this zone just a tiny bit. Road might still go through somewhere around here. Which is perfectly fine. And since there is a lot of greenery or green space in here. Um, what's your range? Oh, you can't go any further. Okay, fine. Let's have a look. I think this might have been the furthest we can go. Oh, never mind. Okay, so we can go just a tiny bit further. And we'll place you here then. Okay. Lovely. Put a bot in this one as well. So you can uh, start working all day and night. Now with the rest of it, I think everything's pretty pretty fine. Okay, so you've constructed or removed those trees already. Alright, medium warehouse. And we shall do the same thing here as well. Uh, where is it? Grilled chestnuts. Okay, beautiful. So yeah, the rest seems to be going well. We've got enough uh, wheat flour in storage. Same with wheat. 1,000 is more than enough. And all the other resources. Well, cattail is a little short, but it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, not very fertile over here. So I have also started importing some water. But it seems like he's um, resting for a little while. So perhaps it's not as busy. Okay, so how is everything going? I think we can do another few levels. Alright, another one as well. Hopefully we can get everything constructed before the drought starts. And uh, alright, okay, so the land is already in place, which is great. They cannot, however, construct the last bits over here. I think we'll pause you as well, because then they can construct through here. Alright, so we are a few days closer to the drought now. Not the drought, the rainy season, of course. And I've made a couple of modifications. So we've had to expand the farming zone for the for the trees. Okay, there's a lot a lot bigger area now, and uh, we're not really importing any logs from the from the other districts because this uh, this here should be should be enough. Okay, over here pretty much the same, but um, what we have quickly done in here as well. The uh, log numbers have started to go up, so they can now. Fortunately, resume some of that construction. And as soon as we get those stairs in place as well, we just need one log. I believe we do have enough. Yes, we got seven. Okay, so a couple of days ago, we lost all power as well. So we even paused, I think. Oh, no, that was already paused before. But yeah, the now, uh, now the engines are operational again. Logs are slowly coming in, slowly but surely. But it seems to be working, so that's good. Okay, do we have the stairs now as well? Yes, we do. Okay, beautiful. That means we can get even more logs from this area. Yep, there is a ton of it here. Okay, it's not going to last for very long, that's for sure. But it's, uh, it, I think it's more than what we, what we need right now. Okay, and I hope eventually we can start building those dams here as well. I mean, we do have 2.7 days, so we might be... Yeah, we might be able to. I do believe we want to direct some of that water here. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, that's not the most direct route. We probably want to put some bridges or platforms in here. So why don't we do that? You are going to take a bit of metal, but I think... Oh yeah, we've got tons of metal. Okay, so why don't we do one over here just like so. Okay, and another one on the opposite side. Roads that will connect, so it should be more direct route eventually. Alright, coming back to this section here. Yeah. It looks like a beautiful lake that we could potentially have here. However, filling it up... Mm, <laughs> I think we are going to have to use dynamite then. Because yeah, otherwise we'd have to place a lot more 
dams and levees in these areas and same in here as well unless it turns into one big massive uh, lake of course but I don't think we want to do that okay do we have dynamites in here <laughs> oh yeah we do okay so this might be perfect where is the shortest link ah uh, that's a little bit further away so we do want to keep it fairly close I believe yep they can walk through here but they can't go up so it might be easier if they climb down let's say from here all right you are gonna need a road as well so there you go okay maybe do this one first because i have a feeling someone's gonna walk through and then they will get stuck and they're not gonna walk down are they no we don't want to give them access just yet or do we uh let's leave it let's see what happens and then we will react accordingly Okay, so over here what we would like to do is let's uh, cut this link. Okay, so that's going to allow some of that water to pass through. Filling up this area and I think that's pretty safe to open up as well, isn't it? Oh yeah, so let's uh, do that real quick. Demolish all those barriers. And I mean, same over here. If we can walk this far, we're not really using this mine and don't think we really have to. So if we were able to walk all the way here... And that would be great, but I doubt we can. Unless we got through the middle, of course. Yeah, that could be... Or might be our best option. Okay, so we'll grab the road. Let's say we go till about here. Okay, we do have to climb down. Yep, that's gonna... Okay, so that's gonna be... Uh, ladders, I suppose. And then we can go all the way here. This seems to be fine. And there we go, okay. Yeah, quite a few sections that we do have to connect in here, but I think it's fine. Alright, there you go, a couple in here as well. And we see the ladders over here. And the rest of it, when you do get some free time, let's uh, cut those trees down as well. Okay, we also do want to climb up. And that should be everything. Yeah, we'll just wait a little bit. Alright, dynamites go through here. And they've pretty much done everything, yeah. Happy with this section over here. Can't complain at all. And, oh yeah, this could have definitely had a bit more water in here. So what we'll do is, once the trees have been harvested, actually we don't have to wait. Why don't we change you up just a little bit? Lovely, one, two, three, that should be enough. So what we can start doing, and I think we'll have... Um, like a flood gate here later on but for now let's see we can place how much water do we want to let through here why don't we do like i don't know two and the other ones can be can be levees because we don't want all the water to escape through this way we want it to also go to our right as well of course okay so the trees are gone that's good you can Hop through this zone here. Just have to wait for, for one more tree. There we go. And now access wise. Okay. Not too optimistic about it. But we'll see. Uh, over here. They're not going to get locked in. So that is okay. You are ready as well. Probably pause all of these ones. Okay. And once they can climb over. From the hill over here. Okay. We can also take a few more trees from there. Okay. So yeah. This uh, could be a pretty lovely area to put some more trees for us. I mean, if I'm completely honest, I don't want to have this massive lake here. I think we do want to minimize it, so that way we can use this space for growing a few extra maples, of course. But then again, if we manage to place uh, enough maples in this area, then it would, be, it would be lovely to see a beautiful big lake in this zone. Okay, anyways, so connection here. If we are passing, let's say, two wide cap over here, right? So that means we might want to do it. Oh, that's a little bit higher. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. If we are going to flood our colony, that might not be a lot of fun. So <laughs> let's place you here. Okay, one goes till about 
I think we're gonna keep it cheap for for this time being. Yep, yeah, let's um let's do it this way instead. So you gotta go, you gotta go, and everything else. If we check the harvesting area, all right. So you guys are almost done. Lovely, and I believe we can unpause you as well. So it is almost complete. Okay, cool. So one day left till the rainy season starts. I believe we are pretty much ready here. Logs. Okay, we've run out of logs as, a, as well, which is not good. Probably should have given you a slightly higher priority. Yep, and these ones lower. This one higher as well. So we can hold a bit more water in here. It's not going to escape anywhere else, is it? No, everything's sealed up. And that's pretty high as well. Okay, we're just going to have to wait a little bit, I suppose. Yep, that one's next. That's being done. You just need two more logs. And we are nearly there. I just don't want to flood our district center. Because that would be terrible. I mean, what we could also do... This might be a lot more smarter. Let's pause everything here. Actually, you know what? We're not going to pause you. We're going to remove you. Okay, and what we do want to do here is we're going to raise this up a little bit. So this area here is fine to flood, but I would like the water to go... Yeah, it's not going to look the prettiest. I do admit that, but with our number of logs that we do have access to right now, it might be better to do it from the upper here area over here instead. Okay, now the tree is growing, that's fine. I guess we'll place you here, we'll remove you so we can walk through. Alright, this might be might be much better. And I don't think we care too much about how it looks right now. Save a few logs over there as well. Pause this one. Okay, I believe they should be able to start constructing this side. Well, as soon as we get some logs. What's the situation right now? 1.1k. Okay, not a lot over here. So where is everything? 270... Okay, that's not bad. Oh, uh, I see. 500. But you are not consuming a lot, it seems. Uh, what about this zone? You've got 373. Okay, I guess what we can do is... Because I don't want to send the logs anywhere else than uh, over here. Okay, yep, yeah, it's not ideal. Let's see, logs, logs, and... Um, it's definitely not how we want to leave it till... Uh, or our end game, but I think it is necessary to make sure that this district does not run out of any logs. We've got the engines over here, and until we get the the forestry going, we are going to have to do it manually. So let's uh, wait another night and see how this is going to go. Okay, so the rainy season has started, and it seems we have constructed or managed to construct a few things here already as well, which is great. Now, all we are waiting for is gears. 443. So we should have what we need. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, drop it a little bit lower. Uh, never mind. Let's bring it... Is that the right height? I guess we will see. I mean, everything's going to escape through the middle anyway, so... So, yeah, we'll give you a slightly higher priority. Hopefully, we can get this completed. Now, when it comes through... When it comes to passing water... I guess we'll have to have a floodgate or a dam over here, but it has to be the same height as this side. Okay, let's uh, fix you up real quick before we move on to the other side. So that seems to be the height. Hmm. Do we want to regulate this as well? I guess we do. Alright, so you are the correct height. and There we go. And after that... Hmm... Yeah, they're definitely lower, but it might still push its way through those gates over here. I don't think we need anything like this on these walls. So we might have to delete this as well. And keep in mind that the dams should not be... Or let's see, we can do it one, one higher. Well, anyways, let's uh, wait for a few more logs. Well, we do have enough, but... Yeah, let's do it a little bit later. Uh, right now, we just want to make sure that everything uh, starts functioning again and we can send some cattail back. Okay. 
we do have to set up like a fail safe over here as well with the water drop off but for now let's just leave it you seem to be fine as well none of them are working that's fine and okay so everything looks good over here uh, much more green now and then let's have a look up here as well so have you constructed anything at all oh you're still going all the way around why are you doing this ah oh, someone's gonna get stuck up there isn't it Okay, pause this one. No, I guess we are going to have to go around. Okay, there you go. You've got a bit of access now. Oh, I see what might be the problem. Constructing the higher ones over here. Well, alright. So be it then. Uh, right, there we go. Let's speed up the time a little bit. And we shall see how the water will fill up this area. I do believe we can do this one. I would much prefer if these guys were completed first. And why don't we delete this one for for now. Okay, make the road a bit more direct. Alright, here we go. Get the roads out as well. I think later we just place a couple of... Yeah, extra levees over here. Oh, they've done all the access routes as well. And there's only one tree. Yep, that they cannot... Well, they can't go through yet as... But that's, that's going to be fixed as soon as they get rid of the tree. Alright, so you go through there, here, but nothing stops the water from escaping. So, <laughs> this one's in the way. But if we could cross over, that would be fantastic. Because I think, yeah, these guys are the closest and have the highest chance, perhaps, to fix it up. But uh, let's see what happens if we get rid of this tree over here. Alright, there we go. Hmm. <laughs> That's already already red, but uh, let's give you a slightly higher priority. There we go. I mean, if we could place a dam somewhere here, that would be fine already as well. And there we go. The barrier is now gone. And it seems we can do the stairs over here, which is great. Uh, we'll expand the road network just a little bit. And let's just check. Are they able to reach everything? I think we might be. Yeah, it's still great over here, so we should be able to construct everything in here. So that's good. Are we flooding anything that we're not supposed to flood? Uh, where's our... Oh no, I think everything seems to be okay. Are oh, you almost done. I just need one log and we do have the stairs then. Alright, well that's beautiful, yeah. Once the stairs are done, we shall have a dam in place there as well. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, never mind. It is going to take a long time because you're out of power. Well, that's okay. And uh, we can take you out. Let's have a look at this range over here as well. Hmm. Now I do feel that all the sides are a little bit higher. So it would be useful, especially for the longer droughts as well, if we do place like a yeah barrier and link them up. But uh, space-wise, okay, yeah, this is good. 100%. So <laughs> we'll pause it for a second. And we'll plant this in. So the road is most likely going to go straight through. Oh, here we are going to have train tracks go through as well. But since we're not using them right now, it's fine. Okay, we got stairs over here. So that's good. Now what we do want to do is... I guess somewhere here will be cool. To have the forest there. You've got pretty lovely range here as well. So yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, here we go. A couple of these guys. Just want to link up this road. And once they get rid of that side. No, let's not wait. Those trees take forever to grow. So we are going to have maybe one or two foresters over here. Just want to complete it as quick as possible. All right, there we go. Two beavers or columns now. You can go up, clean up everything there as well. And what we shall do in the meanwhile. Let's give you a slightly higher priority. I do want them uh, to construct it as quick as possible. Alright, maples. Lots and lots of maples all over this place. Cool. So I don't think we need it here because that's going to be impossible to harvest. I think that should be fine, right? Okay, massive forest. They can't go through. Oh yeah, okay. So we're just waiting for some more logs, it seems. 25 now. We should have enough builders as well. What are you guys building? Oh, the Thames. Okay, fantastic. That's good. Uh, the last one is done, which means all of them are within range. You're going to be done any second. 
Just need to deliver another 40, 40 logs, so that's uh, that's all good. Okay. All right, it seems... Oh, wow. We are flooding again. However, we are producing quite a bit of water. And yeah, there's quite a bit going through there. It's still flooding. Uh, wait a second. Oh, here everything is fine. So what if we drop you just a little bit lower? Let's see what happens. Synchronized, no. Uh, you are 1.5, that is okay. Right, let's see if this is enough or do we need to take another level out from here? We might have to. Yeah, it, at least our district center is a little bit higher, so you're not really affected just yet. That's, uh, oh wow, yeah, that's uh, that's quite crazy. I think we do have to expand you a little bit because these two are open. Fine, we'll, we'll do that as well, maybe off camera, we'll see. Anyways, okay, so that's working over there. Uh, the dam is now in place, which is great. We are planting a few trees as well. Now the upper levels, we're almost complete. Okay, just need one more over here. For some reason, oh, never mind, they have brought in the logs now. Same with this one. So I think, yeah, I think it is time to block us in a bit more. All right, there we go, highest priority. Hopefully this gets done pretty quickly, and here it goes. Water is now flowing through. And... Lovely. There we go. Okay. All the way through. A couple of trees finally starting to grow up as well, which is great. I mean, I do think there are certain sections over here that we might have to lower a bit further. Yeah, especially with the longer droughts as well. Didn't seem to be very good over here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's going to reach all the way here. Yeah, I think all this water is going here now. And this one is full. So how about we put you on to... Okay, so the drought is coming soon. Right, quick uh, auto save. Here we go. 787. We've dropped quite a bit, but I mean, we have been constructing a few things here. Right, so I believe everything is done. Okay, so we can lock you in a bit more. And we just need one or three more logs over here. And that's probably this guy. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll definitely have it completed before the drought starts. That's good. Food-wise, water, everything is good as well. So we don't really have to check on our other districts right now. All right, and you're not going to construct it. Well, that's good. You're a bit too slow anyways. All right, there we go. So this lake should keep this whole area nice and green. Uh, 1.5 for you. You're going to be done any second now. Yes, they're bringing their logs over. Trees are going in place, so yeah, I think we're great. We're just going to keep expanding this. I do want to, yeah, and close this lake actually. Raise the level a little bit. I think this dam, we are going to bring it further. Maybe about here. So that way they are connected. Yeah, I think uh, this is much better idea. Okay, so with uh, having this massive forest over here that we are planning and hopefully... How many days was it? 30 days. Okay, so 30 days from now, we might not even have to export the the trees into our... The, the column district over here. So this might make it a little bit more easier as well. Means we have enough uh, logs at hand to supply the engines, keep everything running. And something we do... Well, we might want to do is just make sure that all the production here is fine. I mean, resource-wise, yep, gears seem to be going up again, so that's good. Is the water flowing through finally this way as well? It is. I think we are going to disconnect you, however. Yep, let's do advanced disconnect you. Yeah, I just want to make sure that all these canals are stocked with water, and then we'll be fine. And over here, yeah, not looking good. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. Okay, so... Probably have to widen this a little bit further, give you a slightly higher priority. There we go. But uh, let's fix this in the next episode. So we've got, got a few things working. 
We do know what we do want to improve as well, which is this zone over here in general. There's quite a few fixes we need to do. I would like to also go back to the bathhouse and uh, all these pool signs over here are our uh, the mod baths. So we do want to open them as well, connect them with power, figure this out here and then pass the power through, yeah, either through the river over here or we just pass it through the uh, through the top. But we'll see how it goes. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode.